welcome students welcome to spark academy once again in our chemistry set chemistry club yeah in our chemistry club we are learning lessons one by one one by one and we are making easy to small topics we are taking small bits and making small small bits easy for you yeah today in this session we learn group 17 elements yeah p block elements yeah differentiating electron enters into the p sub shell such such elements are comes under in p block elements p block elements they are group number 13 to 18 group number to group number 13 to 18 they are called 17th group elements yes so let us learn about 17th group elements before that yeah introduction of our spark academy yeah so the information about the course spark academy courses and offerings so courses yeah je mains and said neat bench course foundation classes offering free study material no cost on material free previous questions like and said neat je mains all together free videos exclusive live classes every week chapter wise test Can we make what to cry? We cry on every chapter, chapter, full length test. So we are taking totally total 45 questions every chapter. Double doubt clarification session also there. Okay, don't think doubts not clarify, clarify doubts also each and every doubt clarifying with the script. Daily preparation for exam, weekend exam also available. The daily TPP is also available. subject wise content is available like synapses make them easy like the bullet board bullet points for every chapter yeah and live classes see some examples for live classes animal kingdom revision digital electronics chemical equilibrium from chemistry yeah kinetic theory of the gases chemistry so my classes also available for you yeah now assignments yeah assignments also their daily assignments few examples 15 april doubts in the form of the assignments plant kingdom assignment as for for you very good uh, good one good news yeah we have 50% off spot 50% coupon yeah you i hope you people who are watching so you use this 50% offer je 2021 short term and neat 2021 mc 2021 crash course mc 2021 short term je mc bit set also available on that this coupon is available hurry up call on these numbers and use our coupon appropriately now come to our session our topic what is our topic today group 17 elements yeah once again i repeat the differentiating electron enters into the p sub shell such block elements or p block elements they starts from group number 13 to 18 group number 13 14 15 16 17 18 so let us learn about 17th group elements in periodic table yeah so if you take the block diagram of the periodic table the periodic table which are more electro positive element group number 1 alkali metals are more electro positive elements say group number 17 halogens are more electro negative elements so more electro negative elements are halogens halogens are fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine see the fluorine first one fluorine symbol is f next one chlorine and chlorine bromine iodine astatine what is the general electronic configuration take the fluorine atomic number is 9 helium 2s2 2p5 
क्लोरीन एटॉमिक नंबर इज 17 एन ई नियर 3s to 3p5 ब्रोमीन एटॉमिक नंबर इज 35 dr ऑर्गन 3d10 4s to 4p5 आयोडीन एटॉमिक नंबर 53 इट स्टार्ट्स इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द क्रिप्टॉन सो आई स्टार्टेड दिस इज द रेडियोएक्टिव एंड व्हाट आर द जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन ns2 np5 is the general electronic configuration of the halogens okay why this name is called halogens halogens are from sea water form salts they forms in sea water salts with sea water so they are called halogens which are forming salts from the sea what is the general electronic configuration in ns2 np5 valency electron 7 what about valency 1 because seven electrons there how many electrons required to get octet one electron so their valency electron 7 valency is 1 yeah this is the electro electronic configuration of the halogens all halogens they are existing they atomic all halogens they are existing they are atomic Like F2, Cl2, Br2, I2. Yes. What about F2 and Cl2? F2, Cl2 both are gases. Bromine is corrosive liquid. Iodine is solid. Yeah. So once again, fluorine, chlorine both are gases. Bromine is corrosive liquid and iodine is yeah. Last one is iodine. It is a solid. Iodine is solid. Yeah. It is volatile solid. It undergo volatile it undergo volatile yes now come to the their physical properties of the halogens yeah halogens i said physical properties their atomic radius increases atomic radius down the group increases density increases melting point increases what about boiling point boiling point increases Yeah, atomic mass increases. Yeah, they have isotopes: chlorine one, chlorine two, bromine one, iodine one. I said in two isotopes possible. I said, and I said the physical state: chlorine is gas, chlorine gas, chlorine liquid. Sorry, bromine liquid, iodine. I said in they are in solid state. Yes. Now come to the electron affinity. Yes. Which is the more electron affinity? Yes, electron affinity. Yeah, yes, electron affinity is more for fluorine. Yes, electron affinity is more for the fluorine. Yes, I write electron affinity fluorine. Yes, Fro fluorine less than chlorine. Chlorine greater than bromine. Yeah, bromine greater than iodine is electron affinity. Now electron affinity over electron gain enthalpy fluorine yeah greater than chlorine chlorine greater than bromine bromine greater than iodine yeah first one is electron affinity second one is electron negativity yes so electron negativity more for fluorine but electron affinity more for chlorine yes so this is the difference between halogens yeah. Now come to the bond energy. Yes. Now we see their bond energy. Yes. They are what? All are they atomic molecules. How we can check their bond energy? Fluorine, fluorine. Yes. Fluorine, fluorine. Bromine, bromine. Yes. They atomic molecules. Chlor, fluorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine. Yes. Now we see their bond energies. Yeah. What are the bond energies? Yeah. Bond dissociation energy is. 38 yes next one 57 yeah next one is what 44 45.5 yes 35.6 these are the bond energies means bond dissociation energy is highest for chlorine bond dissociation energy highest for yeah highest for which one yes now come to them we yeah. see one by one what is the color of the fluorine light yellow yes It is light yellow color, light yellow color fluorine. As fluorine is greenish yellow, it is greenish, yeah, greenish yellow color. Bromine is yeah. What is the color of the bromine? 
Bromin is reddish brown. Yes, reddish brown. Yeah, what is the color of the iodine? It is a deep violet. Deep violet. These are the colors of the. Yes, what is the color of the fluorine? Light yellow. Yes. What about chlorine? Greenish yellow. Bromine is reddish brown. I iodine is deep white. Deep white. Yeah. And they have good oxidizing nature also. Yes. They have good oxidizing nature. And fluorine is the highest oxidizing power. Fluorine has highest oxidizing power. And they are non-polar. Halogens being non-polar in nature, they do not dissolve in water. Yes. They do not dissolve in water. Now we see there. Chemical properties, yes, before that, chemical properties of the, yes, halogens. Like we take the first one, fluorine. Yeah, one by one, before that we see about the chlorine more. Yes, yeah, we check about the chlorine. Yes, we come one by one, yeah, fluorine is the second element. And chemical properties in that first, yeah, fluorine. That is reacting with water, yes. Fluorine reacting with water forms H2F2 and releases oxygen. Yeah, see that reaction? 2, 2, 2. It is balanced. Yeah. Same, chlorine also reacting with water Cl2 plus H2O gives rise. Cl2 and H2O gives rise. HCl and HClO. Hypochlorous acid, yeah. Hypochlorous acid will form. Yes. H2O plus I2 is the no reaction. So no reaction. Yes. With I2. With Br2 is reaction is there. This HClO again it becomes again again it is undergoing decomposition forms HClO. It acts as the oxidizing agent. Yeah. It acts as the oxidizing agent. That's clear. Yeah. Now come to the chlorine. Yes. What is the atomic number of the chlorine? Chlorine atomic number is 17. Symbol is Cl. Crystal structure. Atomic weight 35.5. Yes. What is the color? Greenish yellow color. Greenish yellow color. Yes. So chlorine. Yeah. Chlorine is the element forms oxo acids. Chlorine forming oxo acids. So by this way, these are oxo acids of the chlorine. What is the first one? First one is H, yeah, CLO. Second one, yeah, second one, yeah, first one, second one is H, CLO2. Third one, H, CLO3. H, CLO4. Yeah. These are the oxo acids of the chlorine. HClO, HClO2, HClO3, HClO4. What is the oxidation state of the chlorine in HClO? The oxidation state of the chlorine here plus 1. What is the oxidation state? Plus 1. What is the oxidation state HClO2? Oxidation state is plus 3. Here, what is the oxidation state of chlorine in HClO3? Oxidation state is plus 5. What is the oxidation state of HClO4? Here, chlorine oxidation state is plus 7. These are the oxidation states of the chlorine in oxo acids. What is the name of first acid? It is hypochlorous acid. First one is hypochlorous. Hypochlorous acid, first one. What is the second one? Yeah, coming to the second one. Second one is chlorous acid. Chlorous acid. Yeah. What is the third one? Chloric acid. Chloric acid. Yes. Third one is chloric acid. Yes. Chloric acid. Yeah. Chlorous acid. Chloric acid. Yeah. What is the last one? Last one is, yeah, last one is perchloric acid. Per chloric, per chloric acid. So by this way, chlorine forms acids. 
What is the name of the first acid? Hypochlorous acid. In hypochlorous acid, what is the oxidation state of the chlorine? Plus one. Yeah, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Fluorine showing only minus one oxidation state. But chlorine minus one, plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. It is showing maximum oxidation states. Like chlorine, bromine also, iodine also, they are showing maximum oxidation state plus seven. Now chlorous acid, HClO2 is called chlorous acid. In chlorous acid, what is the chlorine oxidation state? Plus three. In chloric acid, chlorine oxidation state is plus five. What is perchloric acid? HClO4 is called perchloric acid. Its oxidation state is in that chlorine oxidation state is plus seven. So chlorine showing maximum oxidation states plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. Now coming to the structures. Now we see the one by one structure. Yeah. First one, yes. What is this? Hypochlorous acid structure. Next, chlorous acid structure. Yeah. What about perchloric acid structure? Yes. Perchloric acid structure. Yes. So it is a structure of what? Perchloric acid structure. Now tell me. Which is the strongest acid? We know strong acid soil. We know strong acid soil HCl, H2SO4 and HNO3. But here perchloric acid also strongest acid. These are strong acids only. But strongest acid also present. It is a bit for J. Mensendi. Strongest acid is perchloric acid. HClO4 HClO4 We have given HClO4 is called perchloric acid Chlorine forms oxides Oxides also see chlorine monoxide Yes, it is called chlorine monoxide Chlorine dioxide Yeah, chlorine monoxide, chlorine dioxide Dichlorine hexoxide So here Tetra, here what units present? Tetrahedral units present. Yeah, it is linear, it is V-shaped. Tetrahedral units present. Yeah. So this is the chlorine's oxides and oxoxide. Oxo, oxo acids. Chlorine oxides and oxo acids. Chlorine oxides, oxo acids. Yeah. Now, MSET Week 2021 online classes also started. Limited seats available. So, hurry up and use, enroll your number. Call on these numbers and enroll. And don't waste your time. You become part, you become the student of the Spark Academy and learn and practice your entrance question answer. Yeah. Okay. Now come to the interhalogen compounds. Yeah. We know till halogens. What are interhalogens? Halogens, halogens. What are halogens? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Now they are more electronegative elements. All they have same electronegativity? No. Their electronegativity more for fluorine. So electronegativity down the road decreases. Due to this different electronegativity nature, halogens combines with other halogens. Halogens they combine with other halogens forms interhalogens. The halogen due to the difference in electronegativity combined with another to form a number of binary compounds known as interhalogens. Now we see the types of interhalogens. Yeah. We take the types of the interhalogens. What is the first type? AX. For example, for example, chlorine fluoride. Next AX3 type. Yeah. CLF3. Chlorine trifluoride. AX5. Yes. 
फ्लोरिन अदरवाइज इट इज आयोडिन पेंटाफ्लोराइड यस ए एच सिक्स सॉरी ए एच सेवन या सो इट इज आयोडिन हेप्टाफ्लोराइड दिस आर द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ इंटरहालोजेंस हालोजेंस दे आर कंबाइनिंग विद अदर हालोजेंस व्हाई due to their electronegativity difference because they not contain all same electronegativity their electronegativity different is there that's why they are combining each other forms interhalogens so what is the interhalogens examples these are types first one ax ax3 ax5 ax7 first we take ax chlorine fluoride yes so chlorine valence electrons how many Number of valence electrons in chlorine. Chlorine valence electrons one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here one electron used in the bond formation. Yeah. Total how many bond pairs? One bond pair. How many lone pairs? One, two, three. Yeah. Three lone pairs present. Yes. What is the shape? What is the hybridization of the central atom? Hybridization is sp3. One s orbital, three p orbitals. They participated in the hybridization forms. Four sp3 hybrid orbitals. What is the shape? We thought tetrahedral. We accept, but shape is what linear. Due to the three lone pairs, the shape is completely distorted and given linear shape. Given shape is linear. A x star. Now coming to the A x three. X3 example what chlorine tri fluoride yeah chlorine yes tri fluoride yes chlorine yes fluorine 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 so use of three electrons how many total seven valence electrons three remain how many one two three four five six seven how many lone pairs two lone pairs. How it is look like? Shape is P shape. Yeah. So hybridization is sp3 b. How many lone pairs there? Bond pairs how many? One, two, three. Three bond pairs. Bond pairs three. Lone pairs how many? Two lone pairs. So hybridization is sp3. What is the shape? Shape of chlorine trifluoride is T shape. But how it is look like? Shape is T, T shape of the molecule. Yeah. Next one, AX5. Yeah. AX5. We take the type of AX5. Yeah. Type is AX5. Yes. AX5. AX5. Yes. Example, iodine pentafluoride. Yes. Iodine pentafluoride. Yes. What is the central atom iodine? Hybridization is sp3 d2. Yes, iodine is the central atom. Fluorine. Yes, fluorine. 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 How many? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So how it is look like? Okay. So it is square pyramidal I. Yes. Fluorine. Fluorine. Chlorine square pyramidal square shape is there yes we got the square shape so one lone pair that's why it is pyramidal how many bond pairs one two three four five five bond pairs how many lone pairs lone pair one lone pair yes so shape square pyramidal yes shape is square pyramidal clear the shape of yeah square pyramidal shape is there square pyramidal shape yeah now come to the a7 yes a x7 yes iodine hepta fluoride yes iodine hepta fluoride iodine hepta fluoride what is the central atom central atom is iodine yes hybridization is sp3 D3. What is the hybridization? Hybridization here. Sp3 D3 hybridization. Now structure is pentagonal bipyramidal. Yes, pentagonal bipyramidal iodine. 
One, two, three, four. Pentagonal. Pentagon. Yes. Pentagonal. Pentagonal. One, two, three, four, five. By pyramidal. Yes. Total how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pentagonal by pyramidal. Tell me how many bond pairs there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bond pairs. How many lone pairs? Lone pairs is zero. How many bond pairs? Bond pairs seven. How many lone pairs? Lone pairs zero. In the case of this interhalogens, yeah. Now we check few compounds of the yeah few properties of the chlorine. Yes, yeah. We see properties of the chlorine again. Few properties of the chlorine. Yes, properties of the chlorine in that yeah chlorine properties. Chlorine reacts with yeah. Metals like sodium, Na plus Cl gives rise NaCl, sodium chloride. Yeah, chlorine reacting with what? Sodium forms NaCl, Cl2 forms NaCl. Yeah. By this we take aluminium, AlCl2 gives rise AlCl3. Yes. So yeah, how many? Two to the four. Yeah, chlorines. Now we have three there. Yes, we take plus Cl2. Three Cl2. Yes, two. Two, yes, balance. Yeah, by this way, chlorine reacting with metals. Chlorine reacting with non-metals also. H2 plus Cl2 gives rise. So chlorine H HCl, two moles. Yeah. By this way, chlorine reacting with metals, non-metals. And very important compound is there. Yeah. Chlorine reacting with yeah. chlorine Cl2. Reacting with CaOH taken twice. What is this? It is called slaked lime. Otherwise, lime water. Calcium hydroxide is called lime water. Chlorine reacting with lime water forms CaOCl2. Yeah. CaOCl2. What is CaOCl2? Plus CaCl2 plus H2O. Yeah. So how many are? 2 Cl. Then balance. Yeah, chlorine is balanced. Yes. Calcium is two there. Yes. Hydrogen is how many? 2 to the 4 2. Yes. So what is this? CaOCl2 is called what? What is CaOCl2? Yes. CaOCl2 is called what? Bleaching powder, yes. So from chlorine, we have a chance to prepare bleaching powder. Yeah, how? Oh, chlorine reacting with slaky lime and forming bleaching powder. Forming bleaching powder, yes. By this way, chlorine forms bleaching powder. Yeah. As chlorine, yeah, chlorine acts as a what? Strong oxidizing agent also how? Chlorine Cl2 plus water H2O gives rise HCl plus HOCl. What is HOCl? What is HOCl? Yeah, HOCl is called sodium high chlorine hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid, yeah. This hypochlorous acid HOCl undergoing decomposition because it is yeah very reactive forms what HCl plus O so it acts as a oxidizing agent it acts as a strong oxidizing agent now what are the uses of the chlorine yeah chlorine using chlorine very useful for bleaching powder it is used for bleaching powder yes and it is used for the DDT, yes, DDT manufacture also chlorine is required. Next, it is used in preparation of posage, tear gas, mustard gas. These gases are poisonous gases. And it is sterilizing drinking water. Yeah. And it is very useful extraction of the gold and platinum in 
where metallurgy so these are the uses of the chlorine what is the first use of the chlorine chlorine means yeah it is chlorine is bleaching agent oxidizing agent yeah oxidizing agent and it is forms and it is very useful in metallurgy so preparation metallurgy extraction of the gold and platinum yes and useful it is what sterilizing drinking water and the preparation of the phycerous gases like phosphate tear gas mustard gas in that it is useful now yes it is useful in that also yeah so chlorine yeah so chlorine useful in these cases in these cases chlorine is very useful as clear yes now yeah by this way this chapter yes this chapter completely depends on yeah fluorine chlorine yeah fluorine chlorine on the totally depends and very important here oxo acids and oxides of the chlorine oxo acids oxides of the chlorine so oxo acids oxides of the chlorine important and inter halogens also important we expect questions from the inter halogens oxo acids oxides of chlorine chemical properties of the oxygen chemical properties of the next chlorine chemical properties of the fluorine chemical properties of the chlorine so these properties important in this lesson now come to the questions here we see few questions yes so what are the questions here yeah we see the only one type of existing between molecules halogen so on yeah as the atomic number of halogens increases as the atomic number of halogens increases the halogens lose their outermost electrons become lighter become the lesser gain electron less readily the highest with the highest ionization potential yeah by this type of questions possible possible in halogens so what are the questions yeah the electronegativity electron affinity questions yeah electronegativity electron affinity questions and decreasing increasing polarizability questions we expect from halogens we accept from halogens this type of questions this type of questions we accept and we see some questions from this yeah we see some questions like we see the question yes fluorine can replace only halide ion from the salt why yeah fluorine so fluorine if any i mean compound fluorine is present can be replaced by other halogens yeah no because fluorine has more what oxidizing makes more electronegativity it has more electronegative element due to high electronegativity fluorine has more tendency to be reduction potential reduce hence act as a good oxidizing agent yes it acts as a good oxidizing agent fluorine has less electron affinity than chlorine but have high oxidizing power yes fluorine has less electron affinity than chlorine but but oxidizing power is high yes because yeah take the fluorine and chlorine so electronegativity is more for fluorine we thought we thought electron affinity is more but say due to the small size yeah the size is small due to the small size okay when we add the electron repulsion takes place so electron affinity is less than chlorine so electron affinity electron gain enthalpy is more for chlorine less for fluorine so electron gain enthalpy is more for chlorine due to that reason yeah so we talk to bottom yeah if you take the fluorine chlorine bromine iodine electronegativity more for fluorine so electronegativity nature is decreases electronegativity nature is decreases yes in the third excited state the number of unpaired electrons in chlorine atom yeah we take the chlorine atom chlorine atomic number is 17 electronic configuration is 1s2 
2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p5. Yes. It is the electronic configuration of the pure air. Yes. So, if it is the ground state electronic configuration, yes. Ground state electronic configuration of the, yes. What? Chlorine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is ground state. Now, first excited state, you take the first excited state. If you take the first excited state, yeah. So, in third excited state, the number of unpaired electrons in the chlorine atom, yeah. So, first excited state it is, yeah. So, first array, P orbital, next D orbital, yes, goes to D orbital, yes. Now, 1, 2, here 1, 2, 3, 4, one electron coming here. First excited state. Second excited state, if you take, yeah. So, here, second excited state, yes, one electron will come here, yes. So, one electron came here. 1, 2, here 1, yeah, yes. So third excited state, it is the second excited state. Coming to the third excited state, this one electron also enters into the D orbital. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 electrons. So in third excited state, how many? In third excited state, the number of unpaired electrons in chlorine atom is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So answer is 2 because 7 unpaired electrons there in the third excited state of the chlorine. Yeah. So we expect by, by these questions from the 17th group elements.